Bloody hell. That make me arm coffee. Hi. I'm going to go right through a strategy today, start and finish. Just to answer a few emails that came in. And Winky left me to make coffee on my own. This ain't good. Oh, the intro. I'll tell you all about it. Hi, welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Langers, and I am the Scruffy Trader. As you can see by these rugged good looks, not exactly Brad Pitt, am I? She thinks I'm Brad Pitt. There better not be a pit in there. I'll tell you what, I shut the door. So it is a pit? It's all right. It's all right. All, all, all fixed now. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's our own fault. She left me to make the coffee on my own, because we all know Scruffy likes it coffee. And uh, I'll sort that out later. But what I'm going to sort out right now is a couple of emails that came in. In fact, I've had quite a number this week. And they've all been excellent, really. And there's three that I'm going to pull out. Um, there's a couple of salutes out to some of the scruffy guys who support me. Uh, Amit, I generally want to do something to help you, which is the basis of this video. Because uh, I did pick up your your message and I feel for you. So hopefully this is going to help you. And then we've got King Overman and Kai Chan. Salute to the pair of yous. Who are looking for, let's just say, a little bit of secret sauce into what I do. Okay. So this is what we are going to do today. You know. And hopefully clarify a couple of myths and make strategies easier. Okay. Now, in one of the emails, I was given a, a bit of criteria, and I'll have a look, which is this here. And basically, it went along the lines of, is there a way to trade profitably with a small account, which is a thousand pounds, and make a hundred pound a week from it? Tall order, okay? Because that is a 10% growth per week. But if you break it down, it then becomes 2% a day. Now that is reasonably, it, it's still a tough call, but it can be done. Okay. But once to do it on a short time frame, I monitor on time frames, but they normally on a 15 and above, but just asked if it could be done, so I'm going to try and find something that can help you. And then finally, not Forex. Okay, it was originally based on stocks and shares, but I'm not really a stocks and shares guy. But the indices are very good, and so is oil. Because what we're looking for is good volatility. And I'm going to go through that in a moment. Because in order to get £100 a week, you need to be pulling in around £20 a day. Now, on a small account balance, and a 1000 it's still quite a tall order. Because if you're at 50p a pip, point, tick, whatever you want to call it, you've still got to find a movement of 40. That's difficult, you know, because that's quite a sizable move for a day trade. Realistically, it's between 20 and 30, okay? And more realistically, 20. So I'm gonna try and find something that can achieve that for you. And the one thing that I think can do it is my push strategy, okay? It's based on momentum. It's very simplistic in the way that it's set up because all you essentially need is an 8 moving average and a 50 moving average is your triggers. That is it. And I'm hopefully going to shorten real time 
right now, today. So if that sounds good, please subscribe to the channel, drop a comment below, and if you want to see the full breadth of how this works out, there's an extended version of this video going to be in the Scruffy Squad. Please check it out, and hopefully you can achieve your £100 a week. Simple as that, guys. So let us jump onto the screens and see what we can find. Okay, guys. So like I said, I'm going to take you right the way through a, a trade from the initial stages where I look to work out my risk and my target to actually going on the screen, defining the trade, and then hopefully if the conditions are correct, trade it in front of you. So being a business owner, and if anybody's followed me for a very long time, you'll know that I live my life on a spreadsheet. I do analyze quite a lot because there's no way you can go into a, a market blind. And if you do, and you think you're just pressing a few buttons and you're gonna be rich, you're in cuckoo land. Go get a job in McDonald's because it isn't gonna happen. You have to put the work in, all right? And you also have to read between the lines and know what you're doing, okay? So I start with this. When I'm looking to work out what I want to achieve, and in this case, it's £100 per week, I need my parameters. This side of the sheet is telling me what one trade will do at 20 pips. That's what it's working out. So 50, one trade is a tenner. All right, that's what you would get if you've got 20 pips at 10 pounds, all right? Very, very easy way to work things out, but I'm wanting 100. So I look down here, and the nearest to it is 97 or 107. So this is kind of where I wanna be there so it's telling me i want one trade 97p 21 pips all right will give me this simple stuff all right so i know i want to be about a pound a pip and that can be worked out up here as well you know if i want 100 pounds per week but i'm looking for one trade a day it's there okay very very simple all right it's all, all it's for it's just giving me a gauge of what i want and where i need to be all right so that's telling me if i do 21 pips at 97p it'll be one trade and it'll give me 20 quid all right but rough maths will tell you if five working days 20 pips at a pound is 100 pound a week so it's in the reams of where I want to be. Great. So I now know a pound is the bid size or where I need to be for a single trade a day. The next part of the email was, I only have a thousand pounds in the account. Okay, so it's a, it's a micro account, it's a small account, but it's still okay. So we, we starting with a thousand. This is about as simple as it gets to fill in. It's your date. You put the balance, what it is today, thousand. And then you put in what your risk tolerance is. Now you do not want to go mental on your risk because if you're risking sort of 50% of your account, you only gonna trade twice and if you get it wrong, you've had it. So the general consensus is between one and a half percent and two and a half percent of your account now that allows you to get it wrong and still fight another day because you're not eroding all of your account away all right it is difficult with a small balance simply because your bid size is restricted all right but we're going to push the outer envelope out to 2.5 is a maximum risk, all right? And that's what this is. It's not telling you where to put your stop. It's just saying that your maximum risk is 25 pounds in money, okay? 
And if you put your bid size in, well, if you've bought 50 pips, you're allowed a 50 pip stop loss. So that's giving you a good bit of room to breathe without killing your account. But we are deciding that we want a pound because we're looking for one trade and 20 pips or 20 points, ticks, whatever. All right, so we'll put that there. So that gives me a max stop of 25, all right? Pretty tight and certainly on the markets we're going to be looking at because when you're dealing with a push strategy, what we're going to be using, it's based on momentum, all right? As, as a lot of what I do is. It can spike 25 pips very quick. And because I was also asked, can I do this on other markets? I'm looking at oil, Dow, DAX, whichever one comes in. Um, all three can spike pretty quick and 25 pips is, let's put it this way, you've got to be very careful what you're trading. And out of the three of them, the DAX is the safest bet. All right, the German 30. So, but we'll have a, have a look and, I, and I'll see what conditions are there. And then I'll trade the best of the three. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. Okay, now in order to enhance the trade, shall we say, you know I like to scale. So if I'm on any of these products, I know that I can move it down to 50p. So in this situation, I would have a chance to have two positions on, okay? And I will go 50p and 50p, all right? And I'll put one to the maximum target if it gets there, result. And hopefully the next one will run on a little bit. So I'll just set another target just a, a little bit further. And the idea behind that is the first one is going to pay you, reduce your risk, so it makes this a lot less, and you put money in the bank. And the second one is just to run on a little bit and see if you can get a little bit extra out of the tank. Okay, but it'll be done relatively risk free. Okay, because as soon as you've been paid, you can start looking well, if this is starting to reverse and come away, I'm just going to kill it. All right, but if it trucks on into your secondary target, extra money. And it's as simple as that. And that's how I essentially manage trades all the time. Okay, so we made up a, an idea of what we're doing. You know, we, we figured out from the wage maker how much we can do a week and what the bid size can be, which is we've worked out it's roughly around a pound. We've come onto this to define the risk. So there is my balance, that is my risk, that is my monetary risk, and that's how far the, the stock needs to be away. You know, if it goes any further than that, I'm eroding the account more than I need to, okay? And that is it. And then you put your bid in and it works it out. And you can put your rules up here because it is the push strategy. So that is based on moving averages is your entry point. And it's based on an 8 and a 50. Um, what I'll do is, as I go on to the charts and I start making up the trade, I'll explain why the averages are there and how you're going to get in. So I hope that all kind of makes a little bit of sense. So let me jump on the chart and we'll trade it. Okay, guys. So the next part of the puzzle was can it be traded on a small time frame? Well, we know we've got 25 pips to play with. So there's an entry point just under here. Move that up to 25. This is gonna be pretty tight put it in because it's on the other side of the moving average. We're looking at the ATR, which is telling me it can shift 20 pips in five minutes. So this is all good so far. 
we're going to drop it down to 50p and we're going to put an order in at 20 just under here okay just under there and we're going to put another order in at 30 at the same place okay and i'll explain what i am doing right what we're looking at is a very, very simple trade setup. Okay. Now I was asked, can I do this on a small time frame? You can. I don't recommend it. I'm doing this just because I was asked if it could be done. And I was also asked, can it be done on anything other than Forex? Well, if you're trading FX and you're doing this sort of system, you need it to be in a fluent market okay and what we're going to do because we know that that is around there 25 pips and we know that is in the same place okay so there's there's the stops in so the, the premise is very very simple okay you're looking for momentum pushes all the time this is why this is called the push strategy. Now, I don't need this anymore. Okay. Now, don't worry about the red when you first come into the trade because it has to pay the spread off. What you're looking for is a push straight away. You have a 50 moving average, which is here. You know, find there you are, 50 and an 8. Okay. The 50 is defining your direction, okay? If it is above, you are going long only. If it is below, you are going short only. Very, very simple stuff, guys, okay? And the eight is the trigger, okay? Now, you would have had multiple opportunities to have got into a trade here. And what you're looking for is a tag of the eight okay so as you can see the eight is nicely below the 50 they are both pushing down and you can see that by the angle of descent so we're good to go all right this is this is a good contender for a trade okay and what we are going to do is very very simple okay you've watched the price come underneath the eight, return to the eight and pierce it. And then you wait for the next candle to close or we'll, or have a close under the pierce. Okay. And I'll show you. All right. So it's come down, it is pierced and it is closed still underneath the eight. So your entry point is down here for this one. And then you would just follow it down a little bit like what we're doing here. All right, let's do it again. It's pierced, it's closed, entry point will be there. We pick it up. Yes, it goes against you. And then it rattles on down. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's doing it on multiple times. It is just sold off here. It's having a little bit of a pullback. It is pierced it there. And it's now coming away, giving me an entry point on the base of the candle, entered the trade, and set your targets in appropriately. And it's as simple as that, you know. But when I'm trading something like this, and you've got a very, very tight stop, it, it is a bit scary, all right? And that's one of the reasons why I am putting everything in front of you because when you have a fast moving market like this it'll go 20 pips very quickly so you've got to be a bit careful and a bit cautious but you've got to be prepared to take the punches in the nose and especially when you're doing it on a small time frame because they are a nightmare they really are uh, it's not something i like 
and I'm only doing this to show you it in real real time. Now, we had a thousand pound balance. If I move that up to a pound, it's dropped onto there, let's just give you an idea. You needed that much in the account in order to open up the trade, 623, and it allows you to have the stock. So you had enough money safely to trade this, okay? So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna let it play out in front of you, because uh, like I say, this is all real time. Um, don't do the scrolly back thing and pick a perfect chart. I just trade what is in front of me, okay? And today, I was asked if it can be something other than FX. So I, I like the DAX, so pick the DAX. It's a liquid market. And what I mean by liquid market is it can shift and it really can shift. And that's why I was looking at the ATR. I wanted to see if there was enough room within the time period I was looking at for it to carry out the trade I'm looking at. Okay. And it was. And I'll, I'll quickly refresh it. I'll just show you. There's your true range. So it's running every five minutes about 22 pips. Okay, so the target of 20 is not out of the reams of possibility. And if we can get it to run, get that little bit extra, it just means that it's, it's pushing all the time. Now, I've been a little bit conservative with the targets. And it's just because I want it to show it in front of you. And again, that is there. You can see it's come up. Uh, it's there's your entry point, it's touched, it's pierced again. So if you'd missed that, you could pick it up on this candle here because that's a clear pierce. And your entry would be kind of under there. So it's not far away from where we wanted it to be. And that's it. So I'll come back to you when the trade is finished. And we'll, we'll just review it all right so enjoy There you go guys completed all right and just so you can see there we go that was this morning it's the only trade i've taken today 25 pounds on 50p pips the trade was simple all right scanned through the markets found the exact setup that i, that I wanted which was this and then was just a bit of patience. And as you saw, the managed, the risk worked out slightly in my favor, um, simply because I let one run that little bit further, okay? And it, and it was simple way to work it out. Put your first one in at 20, and you can see the long tails down here, so, so there's no reason why you can't let it push on that little bit further. So I hope this kind of helps. I genuinely do. Just to recap as to why I took the trade. It's a very, very simple system, guys. 50 EMA. You can use a 
standard moving average if you want, but it's just a 50. And it is to give you direction. If you are on this side, you are long only. And if the year is on the low side, you are short only. The price needs to be either underneath it or above it. And what I mean by that, here you can see we're in a downward move. So I want the price underneath the eight. You're waiting for it to return. Pierce, either pierce the trade. The, sorry. So you're waiting for it to return. Pierce the eight and close either on that candle or the very next candle in the direction of your trade. So in this case, short. Uh, here, if pierced, you would have either have had an entry under there or when this one closed under there and then down into your target. All right. When you're dealing with a five minute chart, a low time frame, the secret is not to be greedy. You get in and you get out. And the next secret is don't outstay your welcome. Trade once, twice a day, just like that, and you'll be fine. All right. You try doing this all day because you think you're Billy Big Bollocks and you've been watching this dickhead. You ding dong! Give it to me again. You ding dong! <laughs> you'll blow your account up. All right. So calm it down. Once or twice a day, less is more, then you'll build. And if you do that, I've just proved it to you straight in front. Minimal risk, 25 pounds, 25 pound every day. Take your 100 pounds a week. The balance you leave in your account to build up and it means you can compound as you go. And it's that simple, guys. It really is that simple. So I'll leave it there. If you've enjoyed this content, Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, drop a comment below. It's great to have a chat with you and interact. And in the Scruffy Squad, you'll see the extended version of this. And we'll go into it a little bit more. So remember, guys, do what you love. And money will follow. See you all in the next one.